Hey there, I'm Derek from RiddlerCreek.com and uh, Ritter's War Table on Facebook. And uh, this is the third, uh, fourth to sixth turn of the first uh, scenario of the campaign game for Hell's Highway. So uh, let's see where, uh, where we were when we left off. So when we left off, if you remember, uh, the Germans, that's me, had destroyed the uh, allied, uh, allied tanks and the Americans were kind of holed up in this area. So especially in these woods right here, the uh, G21 uh, woods. So what we ended up doing was um, just trying to overwhelm him a little bit. He was also in these buildings right here. So between a bunch of engineers and a bunch of um, a bunch of half tracks, there there really wasn't much he could do with very very limited anti tank weapons, a couple of bazookas floating around, and some machine guns to try to take out the the half tracks. The um, flame throwing half tracks proved incredibly uh, harsh on his uh, GIs, so they were able to take a few squads prisoner, kill a few more, and um, and push him back pretty much to the line you see here now. Right around turn five, uh, there was a chance for me to push in with my remaining three Panthers and my half tracks and really put the hurt on him. The problem was we never know when the scenario is going to end because it's a variable ending. So it ends on a one on turn six, a uh, three on turn seven, and automatically on turn eight. So uh, not reading the rules properly, I thought he was getting a whole bunch of uh, British reinforcements on the north edge for the second campaign game date. So I decided instead of pushing hard and taking out what was left, probably just over a platoon of uh, engineers, instead of pushing hard and really putting the herd on them and clearing them out of this area, I decided to turn my Panthers around and I hate that I already uh, concealed everybody. Uh, for the next campaign game date, because as we'll find out in a second, it did indeed end. Uh, so everybody gets concealment, um, who's in concealment terrain or out of line of sight, as per the campaign game rules between scenarios. So, uh, but what I ended up doing was I drove my two of my three Panthers back up this road to prepare for um, the British, who are coming on next scenario date, but. Lo and behold, they're not. They're coming in on the third one, so I could have really kept them here to put the pressure on the Americans who are still here. What I didn't want was to get bogged down in light cover of nothing but hedges and a few orchards and end the scenario that way. Caught in no man's land, he gets some reinforcements to tie me up here, and then this part of the map, the north, is free for his British to come in with all of his armor. So that that's why I didn't press harder and not knowing when the turn was going to end, the game was going to end. So it did end up ending on the sixth turn. So he did roll a one. So so I was right in in thinking that there was a good you know in thinking maybe the the game would end. But I was wrong in thinking that I had to send my resources back to the north to defend against the British because the British aren't coming for another date. Okay, so let's look at his forces that are left. Uh, he's got an abandoned jeep here. Got, uh, got some squads that are hiding back here. I don't know if he has a leader left or not. He has a couple half squads and a couple crews that used to inhabit the jeeps. And that's about it. He has one squad or half squad down here. I think that's a half squad that used to have a bazooka until he broke the bazooka. Now, as far as the Germans go, it looks like the Germans have a ton of stuff, but they actually don't. They have they have a bunch of half tracks, um, regular 251 slash ones, um, and they have uh, some of their um, flame throwing tanks left, uh, flame throwing half tracks left. And they have one panther on this side, but the infantry is very, very, very scarce. Most of them, most of them were broken down into half squads, which some of them had to recombine. But they are just hurting for infantry right now. So it looks like a lot, but you'll notice that a lot of these are the larger question marks that are covering up um, the uh, the half tracks. So there's not much, not much squads at all. Now started with four panthers. His typhoons did come in only once during the whole scenario. Out of the uh, typhoons, I did manage to shoot down one, but
but the other one came in and I had a panther right here, I believe. Nope. Uh, yeah, yes, I believe that. No, you know what? I think he was right here. I think this was the guy right here. So it was a panther, and uh, I had him stacked with a 9 minus 1 leader and a couple half squads. Well, the typhoon hit with its rockets, and on the two kill roll, he rolled snake eyes, which sent it uh, burning. Did a 1 KIA on the on the troops. The uh, that killed a half squad. The the um, leader did not die, and then um, on the uh, subsequent uh, rocket attack, he also hit, killing the other half squad squad. And the leader still didn't die. So the leader survived it all. The only witness to the carnage. So we're down to three panthers out of the four. Um, of note, I did capture with... Uh, I broke one of the one of the machine guns on one of my 251 slash ones. So I abandoned it. I immobilized another one. I abandoned it. And I had one of the half tracks that blew up earlier and turned one through three. I got a crew. So with those three crews... I went and I borrowed his Bofors anti-tank, anti-aircraft guns. So hopefully they're going to help out a little bit or at least deter his Typhoons in, in the next scenario if he buys them. So, and they are hanging out. don't really remember where they're hanging out, but they're around here somewhere. Oh, no, 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 that's right. So what happened was I got them. I captured all three of them. And then between scenario dates, you roll to see if you keep captured weapons and guns. And I failed all three rolls. Rolled four, four, four. All of them disappeared. So that was all for nothing. So I'm going to go hop back into my, into my half tracks and, and try to fix the guns. Or I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. But anyway, so that was all for nothing. Well, up until now, I thought I still had them. But I guess I was wrong. Okay, well, that's about it. I think we're continuing in a couple days. And uh, Hayes has a video for you guys, too, that I'm going to be posting shortly. But uh, that's about where we stand. Uh, just one more note. I uh, moved some guys over here to be, a, to be a little threat to anybody trying to cut through the woods. Have some guys in stone buildings here. Uh, you were allowed battle hardening. I was allowed battle hardening three units, so I made Fanatic, one of my 548s with a machine gun. He should be, uh, he should be a little deterrent over here. And then over here we have some more infantry going on little uh, half track for just a tiny bit of anti-aircraft protection then we have one panther behind a wall over here for hull down status I would have preferred him to be in the building but I wasn't close enough to get into that building I had to be within half my movement points I do have another built uh, another panther over here that was in the building now in in my introduction I said that I was gonna put my panthers uh, drive them into buildings and I didn't mind risking the chance of falling into the cellar. Well, um, apparently I can just put them in buildings at the end of any uh, scenario. Uh, as long as it's within seven hexes or seven and a half, ha half my movement of, uh, of where the uh, tank is. So that's kind of a freebie. So I did. So between being concealed, being in a stone building, um, I think it's going to be pretty tough for his typhoons to... Uh, to route me out that that one anyway and then I don't really remember where my other one was but he's in this neighborhood here somewhere up oh, there he is he's sitting in a building right here I guess he's facing the wrong way all right so uh, so we'll see what happens next scenario thanks for watching get back to you with uh, the next the next campaign game date